Okay, I just download Circuit Construction Kit DC only from the fet.colorado.edu website. And this is one of the good simulations in demonstrating how circuits work. So we're going to build a circuit with this demo and show you how to measure current. So let's grab a couple components, a battery, two light bulbs, one and two, a switch, and then wires to put it together. So as I put the wires together, you could see that I'm trying to complete a circuit. Later on, I'll show you how the electrons flow when I close the switch. Because in order for a circuit to work, you got to have a complete circuit, a closed circuit. And the switch provides a circuit that is either open or closed. When it's open, electrons do not flow. When it's closed, you'll see that the electrons will flow causing the light bulb to work. Well, let me, almost done. One more wire. And you can see it's just a simple drag and drop device. So let's take a look at the battery and what we'll do is right click on it to show the values. Right click and show value and you can see in this case it's 9 volts and that a battery source has 0 ohms. In later courses you'll see why this is uh, true as 0 ohms or in fact later on in this course. Then we'll right click on the light bulbs and we see that is 10 ohms. We'll talk about resistance in later videos. Just think of resistance as a way to create friction in a circuit which basically when the battery supplies energy to move the electrons in this circuit, the electrons when it flows through the light bulb has resistance and it basically gives off heat. Alright, so here's our circuit. I'm going to close the switch. Well, let me show the electron flow first. And you can see when I run the simulation, the electrons starts to flow when I close the switch. Boom. And you can see the electrons flow in opposite direction to our assigned convention of plus for the battery here and minus just below it. So in the actual current flow by definition it's opposite to this electron flow. When it's opposite to the electron flow this is called conventional current. So hopefully you see how a circuit works and then next we'll measure the current flow through this device or circuit. So before I insert a device to measure the current through this circuit, let's review. We have a 9 volt battery, we have the plus polarity terminal here and the negative terminal here. We have a resistance of 0 ohm so it doesn't dissipate any heat. So this is an ideal battery. This is a switch that opens and closes to create a flow of current in this circuit. Then we have a light bulb of 10 ohms here and another one 10 ohms here. So let's run the simulation and you can see the current flow. Again this is for a negative electron flow going through here and by convention the conventional current is opposite to this electron flow. Let me pause it and let's now measure the current through this circuit. Here I checked off ampere so if you unclick it the amp meter 
which consists of two words, ampere, which is the unit for current, and meter. When I click here, you see that the current device that measures current and ammeter, you can use and drag and drop to measure the current. We'll put the ammeter here. In order to measure the current through this circuit, we have to break the circuit for a moment by removing the wire and then connect the wire. Now again, I forgot to mention that the wire has zero resistance, which means that the wire itself does not give off any heat, like the light bulbs. Okay, one more wire to connect it to complete the circuit. And there you have it. Now when I turn on the simulation, okay, let me open the switch for a moment and then I'll run the simulation. So now this, this circuit has an open switch and when I run it, we see we have zero amps. So when the switch is open, there's no current flow. When I close it, we have current flow and we see that this ammeter reads 0.45 amps. Now, in later part of the course, we'll show you how to calculate this based on the values of resistors and battery. So, the amount of current depends on the battery that you provide and the resistance. We'll see that when you do an exercise uh, at, upon the completion of this video. So, let me pause for a moment and let's see if you recall from our previous video, we saw that it only takes one point to measure current in our traffic example when we're counting the number of cars in an interstate highway. Well, I want to show you that this is the same thing here for a circuit. Here we'll add another ammeter. Now we have to break the circuit for a moment. So I'll break it here and here for a moment. So I can add the meter. Let me stretch this a little bit. Provide some room for the meter. All right, looks good. Okay, and then here, connect the circuit right there. Put the meter right there, and. Okay. All right. So if we run the simulation again, it should also read 0.45 amps as well. And as you can see, we have 0.45 amps here and here. Now just to illustrate one more time that we have a, the same current flowing through each of the device because there's no alternate path. There's only one path that the current will flow and this is the path as I outline it here. We'll put one more ammeter just to show you that you have the same current going through here. We'll remove the switch. Let me pause the simulation. Remove the switch just to give us room. And let me add the ammeter here and here and run the simulation and we should also read 0.4 0.45 amps as well. So 0.45 amps of current is going through this light bulb and exiting from this light bulb. We have 0.445 amps going through this battery and exiting this battery as shown here by this ammeter. Then finally this light bulb here has current going through it entering and exiting this light bulb. So you can see we have the same current flow. The number of coulombs per second is the same amount going through the light bulbs and this battery. Okay, When the same current is going through all these devices, we could say that all these components are connected in series by definition. When a circuit is connected in series by definition, then we have the same current going through this device. But we'll discuss this concept of series connections in later part of the course.